Hey guys, today we're going to continue the uh, challenger grind. We're currently rank 10. We have about 1,131 LP right now. And I think if you win the next game, we're going to be rank 9. So this is an extremely high elo game, guys. Um, pretty much everybody in this game is challenger and grandmaster. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to teach you guys the Maokai matchup today in the high elo. Um, now for the setup... I always recommend the same setup like we always do, uh, which is Conqueror with Triumph with Alacrity, Last Stand with the Magical Footwear, Cosmic Inside, Serious Scaling, AD, and Armor. Now I'm picking Armor specifically in this game because not because of Maokai, but because the enemy team is full AD. Uh, they have a Yasuo mid, they also have a Kane jungle, so absolutely no reason for me not to go Armor this game. I'm going to take the push right here. I also recommend taking a Doran Blade in this matchup. Because Maokai doesn't really poke you. Oh, I'm gonna miss that creep right there. And I missed this one because of uh, trying. Okay, I'm gonna try to go for the push in the pre level 3. I'm not gonna fight Maokai as much because I wanna stay at full health. Um, but I'm trying to prepare myself for fighting for the camp level 3. I'm pretty sure Elise and Kane are going to fight for the River Camp level 3, so I just want to push this as hard as possible. Seems like TF lost pretty hard level 3. Uh, that's going to be a problem because if TF goes down, then they are actually go they're going to be in the 2v3. That's bad. I want to push this one as well. I won't bother with Maokai at all because I'm trying to get the pressure for the camp. I want to ensure that Elise gets the scamp right here. But she has already got it. Kane didn't even uh, try to fight for it. I think he's going for the other camp. Alright, now we can start trading Maokai. Once the um, once the camp is taken, that's when I um, that's when I want to look for fighting. Let's see here. So technically, like, Maokai is kind of like um, a farming matchup. Um, generally, you just want to focus on farming and getting the pressure. Also, try to deny Maokai as much farm as possible. Since he's uh, not that strong early game. Let's see... In terms of farm, we're already getting a lead against him. Now, I'm going to go back to base real quick. I could technically stay for one more wave, actually. Uh, I think I'll do that. Nice. Gonna make sure to push up this wave, and then we can go back after. Alright. There we go. So, um, I'm going to go back to base right now. I'm going to get my Warhammer. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to maintain the pressure so we can use that to roam. I could go for like a TP play right here. Uh, if he decides to stay. There's going to be a TP coming in, I think, from Maokai. If he... Okay, that's great. That's really good, actually. That's insanely good. So, um, Maokai used teleport for bot lane, and it completely failed. And this is going to be very big in my advantage, because um, I could freeze this wave right now. That's even better. I wanted to push up the wave, but the wave is currently stacking, uh, stacking towards my side. If I freeze this wave right now, we could deny Maokai at least an entire wave. He's going to lose the cannon if he doesn't come back very soon. As you can see, like the lane is now being pushed towards me. So he's going to be losing quite a bit of farm. I want him to lose the, the cannon, but... It's going to be a little late. Okay. Now I'm pretty far ahead in terms of XP. 
Ah, Yas is coming from right behind me. That's why Maokai moved up so like that. I was already already wondering like why would he walk up like this if he's level five and I'm level six, but that's why. Okay, that's a really good trade. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can get a kill right now. Okay. I'm still getting hit by the ultimate anyways. I'm gonna drag the wave so it gets to push towards me. There's gonna be two kills right there. So if I push this wave right now and then TP afterwards, then... Uh, let me push. It's not looking that great for my team. Okay. I'm glad I did not teleport yet. I see like a really good opportunity to teleport right now, except, um, wait. At least we got one, and we're getting the farm as well. So against Maokai, you just wanna like, you wanna play safe until you have the right moment to teleport. It is like, um, Maokai matchup is kind of like, um, like a farming matchup. It's all about farming up. Getting the most farm pass when denying him the most. Let's get a Kinder Gem, a long sword, potions, and a control ward. Luckily for us, uh, Elise is uh, taking down the um, taking the farm for me. Even got the kill of Maokai. It's going pretty bad for Twisted Fate so far. He's stacking like four deaths right now. But we should be able to carry him. The only scary thing is that Yasuo is getting pretty fed. Let's get the push again. We're going to do the exact same stuff on repeat. We're, uh, we're just constantly going to uh, push. Get the pressure. And then use that to roll, maybe get a few camps or so. Let me get the plating real quick. There we go. I'll use one of my potions. I can uh, take the camp right here for myself too. Unfortunately, we have this guy coming in. I think he's probably either one of them has to has his flash. No. Okay. Great. That Yasuo is having so much pressure right now because TF is losing pretty hard. It's got to be really careful of uh, of Yasuo right now. In terms of like Twisted Fate already has like 14 deaths, uh, he also already has like three kills, has way more fun in TF and has way more pressure, so we gotta we gotta be really careful about that also since he's like roaming around the map and stuff. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing like we did before. I'm gonna try to um, push out the entire wave. I'll try to have the pressure, and then uh, with that pressure, I'm gonna get camps, I'm gonna roam, I'm gonna try to actively win the game around the map rather than just fighting Maokai. So this wave is gonna get pushed in towards the turret. I'm gonna take a look if, if I can um, take the camp right here. No, I can't take it. Upside the river. It's very good if Kane is roaming around top because that means that my team can freely win bottom. We currently have about a 30 CS difference on Maokai right now, which is massive.
I really want to try to roam mid and gank Yasuo and help out TF. But there's currently a... Um, the river camp is standing in my way. Don't know what Maokai is doing, but okay, here he is. Maybe we can catch his Yasuo right now. He's overextending for the jungle camp. If he gets the stun off, that would be great. We got the we got the teleport off from Malka, sure. But nah, we can't win that one. Okay. Pretty unfortunate. Uh, because we went roaming, Malka is teleport. It was pretty obvious, but Twisted Fate ends up being, uh, getting caught. At least we get some platings when we return again, so. Okay, good. I can get my, I can get back to base right now, and we can afford the, the Black Lever, so. That's our power spike. Nice. I will sell my um, my red, my yellow trinket. I'll just get the red red one so I can roll a lot more easy. Luckily for us, like our jungler is having a pretty good game despite uh, mid lane having one of the worst. I'm thinking or considering taking the um, the red buff, so that Kane is not going to get it. I'm going to TP for this. We might get a kill. All right, we can take a lot of turrets. I mean, a lot of platings. Nice. Only thing is that Maokai is currently pushing down the way uh, the lane. We've got the Yasuo as well. Can, like, don't forget, like Yasuo is he has like four kills. He's super fed right now, and we just took him down. Okay, let's get some life steal. And we are going to get Ninja Tabis right now, and I'll sell my potions, and I'll get a controller. Let's get bot. Well, let's go bot lane. We can probably just kill that Draven. He's overextending quite a bit right now. Sure. Ah, oh, unfortunately it went to the to Nautilus. Unfortunately it went to him. He was worth quite a bit too, so Okay. We're getting super fed at this game. Uh, my TP is currently down. And my teammates are fighting, so I'm just gonna cancel this wave. I'm just gonna go mid. Maybe we can kill something here, because I'm pretty fed right now. Let's see if we can do anything at all. Okay, maybe we didn't get him, but... No, I'm not going to risk that, that's too much. I'll do an attempt to, to steal the blue buff here. Just take it. Alright, there we go. Hopefully my team does not make the mistake to fight right now while I'm not there. I really want to push in this wave towards uh, into the turret. They seem to go for another fight, but I wouldn't recommend them to stay. Order. 
Okay, we got the dragon too. And there's another wave coming in there. Let's quickly get back to base. Gonna get some more armor for the death stance. We are getting super tanky right now for their team. The more armor we get, uh, the more easy this game is going to be. Yasuo is currently bottom. We've got these guys here. Not very happy knowing that. Oh wait, at least he's fighting too. Hmm, my teammates are making so many mistakes this game. This game is getting caught everywhere. My TP in like 70 seconds. Alright, that's gonna get pushed in, so somebody's gonna have to go bottom soon. There's also, there's no camp here anymore, but I know for certain Malka is coming. Okay. We've been able to deny him like another wave, which is, which is definitely worth. Okay, I can uh, I can afford my death stance right now. The moment I go back, the they're fighting right here right now when they clearly have vision. Okay, let's get this turret. Luckily, it's blue cane, because killing a blue cane is pretty easy. Oh, unfortunately. That was going to be a really good fight. The thing is, like, Nautilus died just before it. I didn't necessarily have to teleport there. The thing is, like, we could have won this. We could have won it. But it was, then again, everybody just played wrong. This TF is stacking up eight deaths so far. He, this guy is going completely insane. No problem though, we still have this one. The, dra the next dragon will spawn in uh, in 1 minute and 20 seconds. One minute and 15 seconds. We're gonna have to group up for it. I'll push one more wave and then roam to the dragon. I think I could probably like push another wave. Hey, they know I'm there. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, have a. We, we need to get a really good flash off if we want to win the next team fight. I'm getting pretty close to level 14 right now. I just need a bit more. And that's the TF ults. I 
I'm completely stuck inside the CC. No, I'm gonna die here. I got completely stuck inside the CC of Maokai. I think I could have killed their whole team if I if I didn't get CC'd there. But then again, like I got CC'd, we couldn't get the kill on Maokai, and TF getting caught there was that was just terrible. That was just really terrible. They're starting up the, the Baron while also starting up the Dragon here. He's gonna have to steal it somehow. We have about like, we have about 100 CS difference against Maokai. Almost. Almost about 100 CS difference. But this game is just really, really difficult because uh, most of it because of mid. Next dra uh, dragon is not going to spawn anytime soon. You can just push. It's gonna crash inside the turret. I'll just be farming out this camp here real quick. We're just gonna be trying to like farm out as quickly as possible. This game is not not lost yet. If we can get a few catches, we can still win. My TP is up in 10 seconds, but I'm going to try to go bottom anyways. Maybe we can catch him. No, he didn't, he didn't pass the wall. I was hoping for uh, I was hoping to see that cane passing the wall, but he didn't use it. He didn't go there. Okay, we can chase this guy this guy down. At least I'm not gonna allow him to use his teleport. Kane is currently mid. Uh, let's see here. I'll just keep chasing this guy down. We will get him eventually, without my ults. Okay, we got him. Thank you. It's okay, while, but it was worth it because he can TP to the to the team fight. If we can take out Maokai out of the team fight, he won't be able to CC anybody. So whether I'm there or not, it's good. Okay, we can uh, push up another wave. I think... Uh, I'll think I'll quickly rotate towards the, the red buff first, because I don't want I don't want anybody of the enemy team to, to get this thing. It's really good that my team has been able to, you know, manage bot lane. Maybe we lost the turret for it, maybe the inhibitor, but uh, we still we still got this game going. I think we can probably make a comeback if my team keeps going like this. Okay, let's get back. Let's get the Sterex Gage, and we're gonna get more armor because they're full AD. My team got caught, I think it's over.
This game is probably done. I, I'm like, I'm like two levels ahead of the entire enemy team. But, you know, despite being so far ahead, my team has been completely throwing this game to the point where I can't even change anything at all anymore. It happens. Just unlucky teammates this game, whatever. It was a pretty good game. Uh, this is pretty much how you do play Riven against Maokai in a challenging game. Also, how you get like 100 CS difference. Like, we literally got 100 CS difference with Maokai, even more. Um, anyways, it might be a loss, but whatever. Hopefully you guys have learned something. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video. Uh, don't forget to check out my stream because this game is being played live on stream. Streaming like six times a week, guys. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys up in the next YouTube video. Peace.